you that. I get goose pimples. It does. I know. Every time. It never yeah. gets old. Nope. Oh, so, so Sometimes they have a Thunderbird, but they all they travel all over the world, so yeah. they may yeah. not have been around for this hey, one. Hey, I'll take what we can get. <laughs> that was good enough for me, man. <laughs> I want to get you outside. This is a live look at Mandalay Bay camera showing the iconic Las Vegas Strip. You know this is a busy place tonight, and it's nice to feel conditions that are really comfortable. Temperatures quite a bit warmer than this time yesterday. We're in the 60s for most of uh, Southern Nevada. 66 right now in downtown Las Vegas. 64 for Pahrump. 68 in Laughlin. We're running five or so degrees warmer than this time yesterday and this warming trend just getting started by the middle of this coming week. Highs will be in the 70s with wind speeds that will calm down tomorrow. This has been a weather headline today. See Laughlin with gusts to 30 miles per hour. We're still under that Lake Wind Advisory up and down the Colorado River Valley through this evening uh, with waves one to three feet for Lake Mojave, Lake Mead just due to the breeze. But it looks like the wind has started to relax in the Las Vegas Valley. Gusts about an hour ago were up to 30 miles per hour, so a noticeable breeze for your Sunday. But that's settling down and from here are 10 turns to the warming trend. High pressure and control. You see really quiet conditions across the desert southwest and the climate predictor prediction center giving us a really solid shot for temperatures well above the seasonal average for the time being. This is the six to 10 day outlook and it does look like starting Tuesday temperatures are well above normal. Tomorrow we're actually going to see our highs fall a degree or so. Today we made it to 65 or 66. Tomorrow's forecast high 64. But once we get into Tuesday, we jump to the 70s and that's where we stay through the second half of the work week tonight. However, it's a little cooler than that and, and conditions are a little breezier. You see mid 60s for now with sustained wind 10 to 15. Once the sun sets, our wind speed will relax. That means by seven or eight, you're not noticing as much of a breeze, but our temperatures cool quickly. We hang on to low 50s through 10 p.m. After midnight, we'll be in the 40s and we stay in the 40s overnight into tomorrow morning. It looks like above freezing for most of Clark County tomorrow morning. The valley should be in the upper 30s, low 40s ahead of sunrise Monday with highs tomorrow afternoon in the mid 60s. Less of a breeze tomorrow. The same sunny sky sticking around should be a gorgeous day and it gets even better as we do make our way into the middle of the week. We jump to 71 on Tuesday to 72 on Wednesday. Bit of a breeze does pick up for the middle of the week that settles down and it'll get out of the way so you can see what's coming this weekend. Looks like we hold in the 70s starting Tuesday through the weekend. So really fantastic conditions settling down. This is well above where we should be again 10 degrees above average. So we're a little ahead of schedule with the 70s, but hey, I'm not, I'm not going to complain because it'll yeah. feel pretty perfect. It's, a, it's pretty amazing, Danny. Yeah. Wow. Some of my best across. work. Thank yes, you. Yes, so exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, come